morning everybody let's get this coffee drink and then we're gonna head out here and start working on getting the motor onto the motor stand oh yeah so I've been complaining about these lights forever so I went to the store when I picked up bolts so I could hook the motor to the motor stand they had these LED replacements Things are super bright, super nice. And I mean, all I had to do was take the, um, the fluorescent bulbs out and put these right in. There was no modifications, no nothing. And those things were $14 for a pair at Lowe's. Well worth it. And now it is super bright in here. All right. Just heard my coffee's done. So let me go ahead, get my coffee drank, and then we'll come out and we're going to start getting the motor on here and start looking at it and going through it and just seeing how it is. Okay, kind of got a janky setup going on. I mean, you know, I don't have a lot of room in here. I've got it kicked up in the air just slightly. I'm going to readjust all the hoist and all that kind of stuff when I go to pick it up. I just picked it up just enough to get the bell housing off. So that way we can go ahead and get this on. Then I'll set it back down, readjust everything, pick it up, and we can get the get it on the motor stand. Alright, it's the next day. I had to stop in the process of what I was doing. Had to go take care of something. Don't remember really exactly where I left off. But it was somewhere around this area. <laughs> so, I got the motor um, slightly lifted. I went ahead and got the piece that slides into the motor stand on. So now let's go ahead, jack it up, and we'll slide that motor stand on there. And we got to get transmission off the pallet and then get the pallet out of here too. Oh yeah, lifting up nice and straight. That's good. So I'm going to leave it there. Then I got one of these dollies right here. We're just going to stick the transmission on that. Let's go ahead. My garage is so crowded today. Got too much crap in here. All right, let me get my gloves. Where they're at, but here they are. Too. I got a 2J starter, so at least that's what they say. We're gonna go with that. All right, now the pallet can get out of there. Carefully. 
God, that thing's heavy. There it is. Whew. Let me close the garage. All right, so we'll close the garage and then we're going to sit and talk about this thing for a minute. Okay, so got it on the stand. That's a heavy motor. I mean, well, it is a complete motor. It is all there. Okay, so let's see, where should I start? Probably what we're going to be doing here real soonly, I mean, like real soonly, is we're gonna start tearing this thing apart just slightly we're not gonna break this whole thing down like this motor down to nothing we're gonna take pictures of it as i disassemble it um complete wire harness will come off the um, power steering pump is gonna come off the ac pump is gonna come off and then there's a kit that who is it? Um, Motion Driftworks, Driftworks, something like that. Um, sells a kit that you put on this for it's an air conditioner power and power steering pump delete setup. Um, we'll be ordering that soonly because as we take all this apart, we're going to, we need a new serpentine belt and all that stuff anyways because it's gonna eliminate some of this stuff. Um, we're gonna go ahead and order us a new water pump because I want to get a new water pump on it. We're going to get underneath here and get a new timing belt put onto it. Um, what else we're we going to do? Just some general maintenance on it and all that kind of stuff. I mean, for the most part, this thing looks really good. Oh, yeah. We'll wind up doing um, valve cover gaskets. And while I got the valve covers off, we're going to go ahead and get those um, powder coated. So both the valve covers will be powder coated. Um, I would say we could do some brackets, kind of like, you know, blend some stuff in here, but there's not a lot that can get powder coated because some of this is eventually going to get changed. The whole, um, J pipe with the research is going to get changed out later because for now, basically we're going to, um, get this installed and we're going to try to run it as stock as possible for now so basically the way it is with you know with the, um the research for it for and all that stuff it's gonna stay we're gonna do a tune-up on it get it going good get new gaskets on it get a couple things and on it but basically we're gonna run it stock we are going to um be running a ECU Masters Black on this because this wire harness, a lot of it also is, I know this ECU is not, I can't remember what kind this is, what they tell me, not I forgot, but whatever. I mean, we might be able to get it started and kind of working slightly with that ECU because there are wire diagrams all over the internet. So we'll work on that. But for the most part right now, we're going to try to get this thing into the truck, keep it stock as possible for now, until maybe I can get some sponsors or something like that, because a lot of this stuff's expensive. Um, we're gonna do a CX Racing whole intercooler setup that's built for this motor. It's probably not built for the Blazer, but it's built for the motor. So it'll work with this motor. And also it's a three inch wide core on the intercooler, which is gonna fit perfectly in between the radiator and the grill. Slight trimming of the grill, maybe, but a three inch core, it should fit in there perfectly. Um, we're going to put a new top on it because this one is dented and messed up. We're going to get a custom one for it. Um, I don't know if I said it. We're going to get a new um, 
timing belt in this thing too. So like the Driftworks um, belt setup is like $35. Um, HKS timing belt is around 40. New valve cover gaskets run 70 to 80. Water pump runs around 100. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the oil pan the lower just to make sure that there's no contaminants in it, no sludge, no just basic, make sure the motor's good by just making sure there's no chunks in there. That's probably about all we're gonna do. And we're really gonna start diving into this and tearing it apart within the next video or two. And while I'm working on this one, we're gonna go ahead and start getting on the small block Chevy also. Cause this needs to get done so I can get it in the truck. That needs to get done so I can get it in the blazer. I'm glad that it has the motor mounts on it so I can work on the new motor mounts for in the to convert it from the blazer to this. But I am happy. I mean, nice little baby turbo. Thing is so cute. But hey, for the most part, this is gonna work for now until we get more money because a couple hundred dollars in just tune-up parts but the ecu masters black that's gonna cost some money but it's the best to run with this so we're gonna save up and we're gonna get it i think we're just gonna call it this video is done um it's about all i really wanted to get done was trying to get it up on there and just kind of look at it and go over some stuff and everything looks good the only bad thing is is i did notice is the oil dipstick top got broken. Probably in transport, not a big deal. Love how it says right there on the side of the block, one Jay-Z. But, I'm good, I'm happy. We are, oh yeah, next video that we will do on this, we'll be doing a compression check on it. I know JDM of California did one. I don't remember what it is, should have wrote it down. But we're just gonna do it again just for the video, show everybody that it's a good motor, <clears throat> and then go from there. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one.